Okay, I'm going to do some, uh, show you what I do when I did my backgrounds, my clouds. Um, I used a little uh, one inch brush that I trimmed off here, kind of made real stiff and round. I got three different sizes of, uh, they're actually a stenciling brush, but they're really hard bristle, round shaped. And I used uh, acrylic, titanium white. And uh, I predetermined that um, about four inches is what I want for my uh, horizon line. So uh, what I did is, is I uh, took a brush and dipped it in water and got a little white on it so I could basically make a, a line and uh, I just kind of made little marks. down through there and uh, I really don't want my white to go any farther than that for my ghost and then I started down here and laid in a thick white right on the edge and slowly scrub this back and forth you can hear the ping of the pole yes I have a lovely pole that's here in my basement for support. And that's what I have to deal with for um, it had to be part of the railroad. Just plain and simple. You know, there's not much I can do about it. And that's all I'm uh, doing. Just placing a white. Okay, you're saying, wow, that's kind of kind of bright, stake paper cloth and just kind of wipe that. Kind of smear that along, come back and So that's my horizon line, and uh, I'm gonna come back with a uh, this large round brush, and because it's dry, there's no paint in it. Come back and feather this some. A lot of this white edge is going to be hidden by, you know, buildings or some kind of uh, some kind of brush, trees, background buildings, something. But <coughs> this is the reason why I went with four inches. My single story building with peak roof goes about that high and a uh, 
you know, three-story building. Uh, go slightly above it. And uh, that's why I went with the four inches. This is HO scale. So what I want to do now is um, kind of just kind of come through here and pick up a, a white, a little bit deeper white in the spots, kind of give it a little more distance. start off with my big big round brush pound it in with a bunch of paint and right about there Just tap it. Just tap it. And give it a swirl. Take my brush and I kind of, you know, what I'm doing here is I'm scrubbing it and uh, giving my definition of my. Uh, oh my! Cloud base. Now I'm taking a dry brush that happens to be angled. I'm very lightly lifting. Then casting over. <coughs> you just add a bit more blue. Or excuse me, white. I only put out a little bit of time on acrylic because it dries pretty fast and uh, you know I'm going to go back in and I'm going to touch some highlight areas. Try to give a variance if you can see a variance. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but just tapping. So, that's one of my clouds. Now, underneath it, I want it to look like there's clouds off in the distance. So I come down here and I start strong white paint. 
putting just little splatches here and there. Pulling it. Let me put one right here. Putting some heavy weight in there. Right there. It's going to this spot. The cloud stuff. down here just start basically fading these lines out these hard edges that are on the bottom of the cloud More paint. And then just kind of okay up them just a little bit. Put some wisps and some clouds, you know. Like a cloud that's trying to form here. Put a little bit more in.
<laughs> okay. And what I've done is I'm taking the white and just kind of tapping the edges of these one sides of these clouds back here, which is kind of giving it some depth. And that's what you want. It's you know some depth. And uh, that's basically how I paint my clouds. Now I'm going to do this all the way around the track and they will get fewer and fewer as I work this way. The other side I may do cirrus clouds, you know, above my chemical company. There's all the different kinds of techniques for making clouds and brushes and you know you can google it. It's uh, kind of hard to screw up painting just using white on your blue background and go outside and look at some color clouds see what they're made of google them see what the color or clouds look like i'll be back with more uh insight later have a good day